The world as we know is becoming smaller, integrated, and technologically more advanced. It is also becoming fragmented, less peaceful, and generally unsafe. Kidnappings, banditry, and all forms of vices are taking over the day. In Shagamu precisely, recently, there has been clashes, there has been uproar, there has been unrest amongst youths. Sometime back, the paramount ruler and Akaribo of Remoland, Oba Adewale Ajayi Tonobuwa II, called a royal interactive session amongst youths in Remoland to discuss on how this unrest can be laid to rest. There were people who came in, stakeholders from associations, youth associations, political bodies, they all came together uh, in Shagamu to talk about these menace. And um, a lot of people talked, shared their opinions. Today on Hat Tackle, we are going to be talking about peace sustenance amongst youths in Shagamu. My name is Kolade Folare Kadesh Prince, and I welcome you to Hat Tackle. We'll go on a short break, and when we come back, my guests were going to be discussing on this today or be in the studio. We'll be right back. I said this is Hat Taco on Remo TV coming to you from Remo TV studios here in Shagamu, Oko State, Nigeria. Like I said earlier, our guest is with us uh, today that we're going to be talking on peace sustenance amongst youth in Shagamu. My guest is a young man, a social activist, is a lecturer at the Federal Polytechnic in Laro in Oko State. Uh, he's also the president of Shagamu Youth Association. Please join me as I welcome to the studio Comrade Olushegun Sikiru, also known as Success. You're welcome. Good morning, sir. Uh, let's go straight to the point uh, because a lot of people have been saying um, one or two things about um, the unrest in Shagamu. Why the heat amongst youth in Shagamu? Kadesh, good morning. Sincerely, let me appreciate you for coming on here this morning. But the issue at hand is very simple. But from my own point of view and from the research background, shows that the only thing that is causing it in the community is what we call supremacy. You know, when there is a supreme battle of supremacy, there's a lot of things that is attached to it. I get what I'm saying now. That is the, I believe that is the basis and that is the issue on ground. That is why a lot of uh, things are happening. Youths are trying to uh, cross one another. But when we look at... Um, wait, wait, Kadesh. Let me just say with you. Uh, generalizing the youth in this matter that is another case that I won't appreciate at all. You know, fine, they are youths. You cannot dispute, you cannot uh, disassociate ourselves from them. Because the fact is just this, is that when things are in order, I believe everybody will want to associate themselves with them. But with the look of things, there has been a lot of peace talk here and there. But it's just that they are not listening. And that is why I will not want you to generalize that youth entirely. Yes. I it's a, I, I, it's a, I, I, just a, a, a set, of youth. set of youths. Okay, okay. Uh, well, well um, as the president of Shagamu Youth Association, uh, what has been um, the kind of arrangement, what is the major work of your association in making sure that this set of youths do not continue to cause unrest amongst the community? 
Thanks so much on that. We are trying our possible best to put many things in places. One, in the aspect of the empowerment and the employment, in which we are trying to make sure maybe when there is uh, an empowerment opportunity and employment for them, such activities can be reduced. But between you and I, we must not deceive ourselves. Uh, if the government really wants this to stop, as a body, we make our own stand known to the community where we are going. And you know, when it comes to security matter, we need to be very careful. Exactly. The issue at hand is a matter of security. And uh, we have made our stand known to the community that is our stand. And I believe we are working towards the peace of this community. And I believe the peace will reign anywhere from now. Okay. Um, we know generally that um, in Shagam, there are lots of um, youth associations, youth organizations. I will not like to mention names, but um, as a major stakeholder in Shagamu, what's the collaborative effort? What's the synergy between Shagamu Youth Association and all other youth associations in Shagam in tackling this menace? Um, sincerely, let me appreciate you from the angle you are coming from. Uh, as of today, we are working together with NYC and Shagamu chapter to make sure there's a peace in Shagamu as out of today. But let me just bring this to your notice that uh, maybe two days ago, we were in a security meeting with Baba Karibo to make our stand known that this is the position of the youth of Shagamu. And uh, in which he also, as a father, he has been putting everything in place to make sure that the security of the Shagamu has been stable and uh, to make sure the peace of Shagamu is very, very jammy. Okay, thank you very much, um, comrade. Um, listeners, viewers at home, uh, we're here on Hat Taku with comrade Olusegun Sipiru, also known as Success, is the president of Shagamu Youth Association. Talking about government, comrade, how has the government fared <laughs> tackling this issue? Whether we like it or not, we know that the major cause of this violence is among cultist groups. Uh, thanks so much, Kadesh. On a serious note and a lifetime mode, I will tell you this. Uh, if we come to the state government today, uh, Senator Bukuri, I'm, I'm also uh, performing whatever in that area of maintaining peace. Even although if I don't have any good relationship with the man, because you know, everybody knows I'm also is a sectional governor. But in the aspect of that, sincerely, I must have done wonderfully well. Because I knew one of my brother then, uh, Ambassador Izzy, and of the later of late blessed memory, or not the Buyin Kamafe. They even work hard then when it comes to issue of peace talk, peace talk, peace talk. But you know, when you get to Abekuta on that very day, I must also call them, come, you guys, you are talking about peace talk, peace talk, peace talk. What has peace talk bring back to this community? You know, I said, Izzy, Mafe, at this stage, peace talk is not going to work. I get what I'm saying now. That's why you see that doing I'm, I'm also telling all in Ogo State. If you add you say anybody that can beast his shares and says, I'm a court. And that is why peace was enabled in everywhere in Ogo State. I get what I'm saying. That does not mean that they don't exist. They exist. But it's just that they will not be able to cause on on rest activities in any community. I just say, but my advice to the government of today is that you should find a way to emulate that. If only that, you should emulate it. I get that. Are you saying that this government has not done enough in handling the situation? Okay, between you and I, let's ask ourselves a question. This government is two years in office now. If we are not going to deceive ourselves, I'm not anti that book. But to face the reality about Shadam community entirely. Because the development of Shagamu is my own major concern. Even we are the ag agitator for Remo agenda, believing that if our son is there, he's going to make us proud and do better than what we are expecting now. But the fact is this. When it comes to this two years period, you and I can record many things that have happened in Shagamu. How do you get that now? 
if the governor can do this by prosecuting anyone that caught killing, you know, we had this orientation when we are investing that uh, courtes is a bailable offense when you do something that you are caught as a courtes is a bailable offense. But at this junction, when you are caught that you kill someone, should be prosecuted. Are you getting that? If you are not prosecuted, at the end of the day, you will still see another younger ones coming. That ah, you permit me to say this in your bow. So be a boy, look at your one more. You also will have interest in it. But don't know back by your one. Exactly, because um, like um, the information we get from time to time. There has been accusations and counter accusations that some of these uh, guys who are culpable of this um, offense are walking the streets like women. And um, the last time we had a meeting with the, the Royal Interaction with um, Remo Youths, somebody raised an issue in that meeting that sometimes when they arrest the culprits, hand them over to the police, uh, before you know it, one, I may not um, be able to mention name, or maybe one highly placed person in the society would have come to build the person. And these people still walk really on the streets. How can this stop? You know, for somebody of high caliber of anything should come in, it will be difficult for him to come in again. If you arrest him, charge him to court the second day and prosecute him immediately. I believe that will give the situation a calm area. And let me tell you this. If like two or three people were picked and prosecuted immediately, maybe they give them a judgment of 20 years imprisonment, for example. You and I know nobody will want to go near that thing. But in a situation that you prosecuted, you leave the community for about six months, seven months, and you come back, you are now moving freely. You are encouraging the younger ones that, don't worry, the only thing you do when you kill, run away. But in a situation like this, when there's a disciplinary action towards that person, I believe that will give a lesson to people at the back that hmm, the society is against what we are doing. I, you know, it's now getting to a state that if they now see that you are working with any one of them and you don't even belong, they will kill you. And that is why the government needs to move fast and work fast on this, on this matter. Some people still also say that uh, maybe because there's joblessness, there are no jobs for the youths and um, large uh, number of unemployment, unemployed youths. So that's why this thing is um, reoccurring over time. That, that is the aspect of the government. I want to ask you, I want to tell you this. You and I know that if there is an able environment for everybody, uh, as Yoruba said, I know what to delay. Now, if the government have done their own part, it will not reach to this extent. Our governor, government also have their own impact, both at the federal and the state and the local level. Are you getting answer now? At the local level, I believe they also have the power to employ when it comes to issue of primary school teachers or those suburb. Exactly. Now, at the, at the state level, if they've done their own impact, for the communities to do their own impact will be little. The community aspect of it is to visit the companies, looking at what we call the local contents. Are you getting what I'm now? And that would be minimal if the government have done their own impact. How do I expect government to, government to do their own? One, there are empowerment program that the government can do. They are in, if you look at Shagamat like today, even our education sector is being mocked because if you look at our secondary school, we have less teachers. Are you getting answer now? Let's employ these people. Man, there are many of them are graduates. Probably if you are seeing, if ten dollars love you can't you are now. You'll be so tired, be so so tired to even yeah. say they want to carry gun. Yeah. Yeah. If the government can even provide jobs. I think that also will reduce it. Well, there, in some quarters, they say that some of these people that we see even have what they do. They have um, a, mean, or a means of livelihood. Eh? Now, it's not all of them that are that idle 
But um, like I, I asked them. Maybe now, now let me to... let me say this. What is the percentage of people you are talking about compared to the percentage of people that we are on a pledge? If mathematically, maybe because I'm a mathematician, if you said people are employed, I will tell you that it will be like 30% out of 100%. Out of 100%. Now, where is the 97% we are talking about? Are you telling me that the 97% we have something doing better and that will not reduce that risk? Are you getting answer now? But to me, government also has its own contribution to the menace of this community. Do you think, uh, okay, now in a few weeks, um, the third tier governance election is going to be coming in. Do you think this um, clash between these rival core groups have any political undertone? Because election is coming and Shagam is one of uh, the uh, major cities in Obu State. Let me answer you this way. Personally, uh, I may not be able to answer that because I'm not a politician. I'm a technocrat. The only politician can answer that, maybe by their way of thinking and by their way of understanding. You understand? But I personally am a technocrat. I will not be able to look inward in that direction. Maybe it's political or not political. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Because you know, we may have different ideology, and that does not mean that we should be killing ourselves with the best, best aspect we should treat our politics. You know, modern, in the modern country, countries, they, are, they do politics. But it's not as the way we are operating it here. And that's why I said I will not be able to answer that. Okay. Um, recently, we had a royal interaction with um, Kabisi Akaribo, and um, we had about um, 20 kings from across Remoland who were there that day. And a lot of people uh, made their opinions known on how to tackle this issue. What do you think? Do you think that royal interaction has been able to help to an extent. Mm, Kadesh, yes, on a serious note, I have to tell you something here. Yeah? But uh, that interactive section is the best and is a good idea. But the fact is this, is that, you know, many people have something to tell, to say on that very day, that is even going to be a benefit to the community. But due to the time frame, and uh, people were not given an opportunity to talk, you know, yeah, I would have suggested, if I have my own way, they should have had that thing in community by community. Then each community will bring their resolution in which everybody will come together and look at it together. A lot of communities were represented. You, you don't understand say now. Now, if, for, for example, now, Shagamu have their own, like a community relationship like that with their cabbages. Now, like uh, Odilemo, Odilemo has their own also, and at the end of the day, the interactive session have come across all Remo land. Yeah. I get answer now. Now, each community will now say like at least maybe five, five representatives. I get answer so now. The general assembly. So this general assembly, okay. where those itemized problem will be have, will have a solution. We will now think of possible way of giving solution to it. Now let me tell you something. I have a friend and a brother on that very day. He has a good and vata information. But on that very day, was not given opportunity to talk. Ask me what's the information. What's the information? The information is, when there's an arrest like this in town, where is the platform where everybody can log their okay. complaints? But he's not given an opportunity to say it. And it's what is going to benefit everybody. Because if you have that platform, I believe it will channel a lot of things. Maybe I'm on road now. It's possible for me to call that platform. Hello, Mr. Sharma. So, so is happening as also, please. They will bring a re, the reinforcement. When there's now a reinforcement, that crisis will do what? It will crash. So that it will not be something that will now develop into another thing in the net, later in the day. Can you get what I'm saying now? Yeah. But if they have it in town because of the time we have at our disposal, we know Baba is a very busy type. And if they have it community by community, they will bring a resolution in which the General Assembly will look at it together and say, okay, let's improve on this, this aspect of the security, and this aspect of education, this aspect of health, this aspect of youth empowerment. Are you getting what I'm saying now? But 
That is when we can have a resolution on that. But we are still looking forward, as Baba rightly promised, that is going, they are going to send us the resolution of the uh, interactive session in which everybody who have one or two contribution can add to it. We are still looking forward for that so that we can know where the interactive session is taking us to. Thank you very much, comrade. Uh, apart from being the president of Shagamu Youth Association, you are a youth, you are a father, you are a husband, you are a son. What do you think is the solution that you can prepare personally to this situation? The solution, I've earlier said it, is that when you are caught that you kill someone, let that person face prosecution. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It's nice having you on the show today. And you too. I hope when we call you next time, you'll be available. By God's grace. Thank you very much. Uh, that's it on um, Haptaku today. I've been discussing on peace sustenance amongst youths in Shagamu with comrade Olushe Gosikiru, also known as Success. And um, I'd like you to know that if you have anything that you want to add to the program, you have questions, you have opinions, you have anything you want to share. You can go on the comment section below and ask your questions or make your opinion known. My name is Koladi Folari Kadeshmes. For those who want to be part of this program, you can follow us on all our social media handles on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter at Official Remo TV. And you can also log on to our website, www.remotv.com.ng. I want to go now. See you next time.